uh, to release their new film, Dirty Deeds. Please welcome Brian Brown and Tony Collette. <laughs> Thanks for having us. It's a pleasure. Is it comfy enough? My kids are so thrilled I'm on your show. <laughs> so you should be. You're a legend, Brian. So are you now, mate. Me? Yep. With you or with and the kids? And Tony. There's three legends here. That's it. <laughs> That's TV. Mm -hmm. TV finest. Uh, now, tell, tell everyone ab about the movie, about Dirty Deeds. Whoa. Um, <laughs> in 1969... <laughs> Very quickly, in 1969, the Mafia found out how good our crims were at making money and they sent a couple of blokes over here to horn in on the racket. <laughs> Is that good? I love how Aussie you are. So they came here... <laughs> what, do you think I'm going to be a Pakistani tonight or something? <laughs> so they came here... They came here, they got taken on a pig hunt. They, got, they came back from the pig hunt, they went on a plane, they went home and they never had anything to do with crime in Australia. So we've told the story of them coming and what happened on the pig hunt. So it is, it is based in fact? Like, is, is there a story behind loosely, it? Loosely, very loosely based. Yeah. We should... Yeah, it's loosely based yeah. on fact, because we want to keep... We, we don't want to get killed in that. We want our kneecaps <laughs> to stay intact. <laughs> now, Tony, is it fun for you to be uh, uh, doing a, a movie where you just get to drive to work instead of having to catch a plane overseas <laughs> to shoot it? Yeah, it was fantastic. I hadn't worked here since 1997 when I did The Boys. And God. I, not that I didn't want to, it was, nothing really appealed and, and this script was so great and had a great couple of producers and... Um, I produced it as well, just so that they understand it. Yeah. <laughs> I now call him Sir Brion Lebrun. <laughs> and uh, I keep saying, what do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> now you used to come back with Tony. I'm not going to do it here though. Oh yes you are. <laughs> Tony. <Like> Stunning French. <laughs> So how is it being a, pro a producer, Brian, when you're also starring in the movie as well? Is it hard to juggle the two? No, I don't find it hard to juggle the two. It's just that um, when you're a producer, you work like... We, th we've been on this film for five and a half years. Well, you have. I have, she has. For five and a half years. So for, for like uh, five years and like four months, um, I was a producer and I got paid bugger all. And for two months, I'm an actor and I got paid a fair bit. <laughs> so, um, one you work really hard and get nothing for, and the other you don't work very hard for and you get paid really well. Was it, was it a, a, fun, a fun shoot to do? Was part of the cast the enticement for you, Tony? Or was it the outfits as well? Oh, I think it was a bit of both. Oh, it was great. It was a great cast and a great crew, and I, I really hadn't laughed so much at work. It didn't feel like a job, you know, and I used to think that filmmaking was the same everywhere, but I think there is something special about working at home, you know? It's about the personalities on set that creates the atmosphere, and it was, it was good fun. This, man is one of the funniest bastards I've ever met in my life. <laughs> what sort of stuff did Don't you do? Come on. Bastard bit. But, Dancing um, on bars in Broken Hill? Oh, yeah, but that's just a normal thing you do when you're filming. <laughs> that's true. It's just part of the first night. It's also the tone of the movie allows you that, because, because David Caesar is a very clever man. He's written a very funny... He's taken a comical view of this whole period in our crime life, and he's, um, you know, and, and there's a lot of laughs in it, which is why people like Tony are in it, because she has... You know, she's a wonderful, um, she's a, you know, she's a, you know, mm -hmm. she's yeah, a, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, okay. <laughs> she's a very Speechless. good actress. <laughs> but she's, um, you know, Tony is a, you know, has a wonderful, you know, humorous vein to her. And the, the movie allows people to, to just take a character and run with it. And, um, and I guess that's what, you know, we have fun doing in this movie. You know, you can sort of, and then David would crack the whip and say you've gone too far and pull back a bit or whatever. You're having too much fun. Which has, yeah, you're having too much fun. As a director always tells you, you're having too much fun. But. Now, uh, we've got a, a clip from, from the movie. Do you know which clip this is? This may be a clip where we're, uh, have, we invite the Yanks home to our place, or the Mafia home to our place for dinner. Uh, to have, we, we actually say, um, it, was, it was a funny thing, because John Goodman plays one of the Mafia blokes in this, and he... Um, he, uh, one of the first days on set, we were doing a cemetery scene, and he had to, um, and he, he just arrived on the Wednesday, and he, this is his first scene, he had to come up to me and he had to say, it's a, it's a, one of my blokes has been killed and he's being buried, and he comes up and he says, look, he says, uh, I just want to tell you, Barry, that we had nothing to do with this. And I say, um, yeah, right, I say, why don't you come over to my place on Friday night? Uh, Sharon knocks up a pretty good feed, we'll talk. <laughs> and he just sort of went, yeah, right, yeah, I will. And he just walked around the cemetery all day going, Sharon knocks up a pretty good feed. Do you people realise how you talk about dinner? <laughs>
So this scene, I think, is about when he comes to dinner. Let's have a look. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, Dirty Deeds. It opens Thursday. I'll tell you the truth, Sharon. I kind of like to stay off the beaten path. Darling, you should take Tony and sell out on a trip. Show him a bit of the place. I don't want to do that. No, that would be great before we went home. Did you shoot that? Yeah. Last year. You like shooting? Yeah, it's all right. Oh, there you go, darling. They like shooting. Why don't you take them out, see a bit of the sights, and do a bit of shooting? Yeah, all right. I'll sort something out. Go out, have some fun. All right, let's go. Yeah. And the clock begins, my friends. Now, how was it? Uh, how was it for you, Tony? I guess working with with John Goodman and uh, and Brian. I don't think you've worked with Brian before, had you? No, I, didn't, I met you a couple of times socially. I think. Yep. Chop fest. Now I, I really know who you are. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I mean, I grew up watching Roseanne, so I was really excited to work with John Goodman. I mean, obviously he's made a lot of good films as well, but yeah. television seems to kind of seep into your psyche a little more sometimes. I grew up watching Roseanne too. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but it was great, you know, the whole cast was great. It was, it was a laugh, honestly, it was really good. And as a producer, Brian, or as someone involved in, in creating the film uh, from the, the, the get-go, to, get uh, to get John, was, was that a coup? Was he someone who you initially tried to get and he said yes straight away? Well, the, the, the blo the, this mafia man that comes out, he also has another function, and um, the, the, the function is he actually is a mentor to my nephew, who's a young bloke that's come back from Vietnam, and he actually teaches him to, to make pizza. Because up until 1969, we didn't have pizza in this country. So the movie sort of examines what Australia was like at the time and the things, uh, how we're influenced by America, and in one respect, the mafia, and the other respect about making pizza. Um, what was the question? <laughs> Was it oh, ever through when John, John said yes immediately? When John said yes, was that pretty so good? Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, we sell it. We send. So we send John. Uh, David Caesar always liked the idea of John. <laughs> David Caesar always liked the idea of John Goodman playing Tony the Mafia bloke. So we sent him the script. He read it in three days. He rang up and he said, "It's one of the best scripts I've read in years. I'd love to do it." He was on the plane. Immediately came out and shot it. It was that easy. It was easier than getting her. She'd been given. <laughs> She'd been giving it for five weeks while she was doing About a Boy and she didn't even open the parcel. Oh, I'd get nominated you know? for an Oscar and see what happens. Oh, oh, no. I was focused on my current project. Yeah. Oh. But luckily, but luckily, she did say yes. Uh, there you go. And it's a fantastic movie. I, I urge people to go and see it. It's Dirty Deeds. It's out uh, Thursday. Please thank Tony Collette and Brian Brown. Thank you.